All right, good afternoon. Thanks for showing up for me. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, we're going to do an epic practice. COVID-19 is not stopping us. <laughs> Let's get started. Um, downward uh, child pose. Sit back through your heels. Extend your arms forward on your mat. So your pinky edge, part of your pinky is extending over your mat and sit back through your heels. Rest your forehead on the mat and open your eyes. Begin your ujjayi breath. Fill this park for me. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Empty out. And keep that deep, conscious, rhythmic breath throughout, with you throughout the practice. And I'm going to listen for it. Fill up. Empty out. Press back into downward facing dog. Lift your hips high. Set your foundation. Be intentional about the physical foundation of your pose. Press firmly down through the triads of your hands and lift your hips high. Press the mounds of your big toes down and bring a little softness, a little water to your joints. Excellent. Set your gaze to the back of your mat and breathe. Keep that steady gaze with you throughout your practice. With your ujjayi breath. Breathe in. Empty out. Fill up. Empty out. Last breath in. Bend your knees. Walk to the top of your mat. Hang in ragdoll. Grab opposite elbows. Let the crown of your head fall to the your mat, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Paying attention to your foundation, lift your 10 toes, spread your 10 toes, and press the, so, the, your back heels firmly into your mat, and bring your hips over your heels. Drop your head. Let go of any holding, breathe in, Empty out, last breath in, bring your hands to your hips, rise up, extended mountain pose, gaze high, let your gaze follow, reach up through your fingertips, pull your front ribs into center, expand your chest and upper back, breathe in, bow forward, halfway left. Bring your hands to heart center. Standing up tall. And together, we'll begin our practice with one powerful OM. Breathe in. Um. Extended mountain pose. Breathe in. Bow forward. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, high plank. Hold here in high plank. Pull your belly to your spine. Bring a little softness to your elbows. Press through your fingertips. Gaze to the front of your mat. Stay here. Lower down. Hold. This is a pose. Stay here, breathe. Let me hear you, fill up. Upward facing dog, gaze high. Downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. Take three resting breaths. I want you to consider during your practice today staying. Stay with your breath. Be intentional about the physical foundation of your pose. And stay when you're uncomfortable. We're all being asked to do that now. Can you stay? Breathe in. Empty out. Bend your knees. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward, extended mountain pose. Reach high, gaze high, 
breathe in, bow forward. Halfway left. Hands to the mat, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, gaze high. Downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. Take three resting breaths. Press firmly into the triads of your hands. Turn your inner, pull your outer shins in. Turn your inner ankles back. Breathe in, empty out. Fill up, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward. Extended mountain pose. Reach high, gaze high, breathe in, empty out. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, high plank. Lower down, low plank. This is awakening. Upward facing dog, gaze high. Downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. Breathe in, empty out. Steady your gaze, breathe in, empty out. Last breath in, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward, chair pose. Sit low, lift your 10 toes, spread your 10 toes. Sit lower, sit a little bit lower. Extend your arms and let your gaze follow. Pull your shoulders back and pull your front ribs into center. Press down through your heels. Be uncomfortable. Breathe, empty out. Stay for one more breath, breathe in. Release, bow forward. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Hold, hold. Stay uncomfortable. Upward facing dog, gaze high. Downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. Right side warrior one, right foot to right thumb. Press down through the triad, through uh, your big toe mounds. Press firmly to the outer edge of your back foot and pull your belly to your spine. Let your gaze follow. Spread your fingertips, lift your 10 toes. Bring your front knee to 90 degrees. Stay, breathe in, empty out. Last breath in, hands to the mat, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, gaze high. Downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. Left, left foot to left thumb, root down to lift up, extend through your side body, breathe in, breathe out, bring your front knee to 90 degrees, sit a little lower, last breath in, empty out, hands to the mat, high plank, lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe here, breathe in, empty out, fill up, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward, one breath per pose. Halfway lift, bow forward. Chair pose. Reach high, sit low, breathe in, bow forward. Halfway lift, hands to the mat. High plank, lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, gaze high, downward facing dog. Keep the flow, you're building tapas. Right foot to right thumb, breathe in, lift up, fill up, hands to the mat. Vinyasa. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot to left thumb. Breathe in, fill up, pull your front ribs into center, hands to the mat, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. 
Breathe in. Empty out. Breathe in, fill up. Bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Chair pose. Breathe in. Empty out. Halfway lift. High plank. Lower down. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Gaze high. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Be intentional. Press down to lift up. Make a higher call. Hands to the mat. High plank. Lower down. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Flow like water. Left foot to left thumb. Reach up. Gaze high. Breathe in. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Lift your right leg. Press down through the triads of your hands firmly, just so that, like air is flowing under them. And press your heel further to the back room. Lift your hips, come up on your left big toe. Bend your right knee, open up your hip, stay here or flip your dog. Take your fullest expression. Breathe in, empty out, come back to center, right side, side plank. Ground down, do your right fingertips, extend your left arm to the ceiling and let your gaze follow. Lift your hips, flex your back feet and pull your front ribs into center. Stay, shaking's good. Can your gaze follow your upper hand? Spread your fingers. Breathe in. Come back to center. High plank. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog. Gaze high. Downward facing dog. Gaze to the back of your mat. Lift your left leg. Press back firmly through your back heel and press the palms of your hands into your mat. Pull the front of your pelvis up towards your belly button. Breathe in, empty out, bend your left knee, open up your hip, create space, create space for something new. Fill up, back to center. Lower your left leg, come up into high plank, Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, gaze high. Downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. We're gonna keep this flow going. You're building some tapas, yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, uh, right side crescent lunge. Right foot, this is the Vitality Series. Come up on your left big toe, press through your back heel. And beautiful, bring your knee to 90 degrees. Check your foundation. Be intentional about the physical foundation of your pose. Can you see your big toe? And bring your right knee slightly towards the pinky edge side of your foot. And let your gaze, gaze high. Pull your front ribs into center. Little softness to your back knee. Breathe in, empty out. Stay, fill up, open up to warrior two. Stay in 90 degrees, reach evenly through your front and back of your hands and gaze, be unstoppable, that steady gaze, that laser-like focus over your fingertips, your front fingertips. Press firmly through your back foot, the outer edge it a little lower. Stay. 
Can you stay? Extended side angle. Right elbow to your right knee. Right fingertips. Send your right fingertips straight up first. Straight up. Let your gaze follow. Spread your fingers. Lift your ten toes. Spread your ten toes. And now extend your top fingers to the front of the room, creating space along your side body. A straight line of energy going from your back, the outer edge of your back foot straight up, out through your fingertips. Breathe in, empty out, last breath in, hands to the mat, high plank, lower down, low plank, upward facing dog, gaze high, downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat, left side crescent lunge, those tapas, keep them coming, breathe in, lift your, press through, through your back toes and press your front heel firmly into the mat, your foundation is your practice, breathe in, empty out, pull your front ribs into center, Empty out, last breath in, breathe in. On your out breath, open up to warrior two. Set your gaze. Drishti. Ujjayi breath, tapas. Stay, breathe in, empty out. Fill up, extended side angle. Reach your left fingertips to the sky. Let your gaze follow. Spread your fingers wide. Now extend your arm to the front of the room, creating space. What can you let go of? Create space for something new. Breathe in. Empty out. Create more space. Open up, stay, last breath in, hands to the mat, high plank, lower down, low plank, upward facing dog, gaze high, downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat. One breath in, bend your knees, we're going to keep the flow, step or hop to the front of your mat, halfway lift, bow forward chair pose. Sit low. Sit as you're sitting in a chair, a baby chair. Sit a little lower. Gaze high. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist to your right. Twisting chair to the right. Press firmly into your the palms of your hands to create space. On your in-breath, extend your crown of your head to the front of the room and on your out-breath, twist. Get rid of anything that doesn't serve you. Twist it out. Best thing for you. Press down through your heels. Lift your ten toes. Spread your ten toes. Gaze high. Come back to center. One breath in. Twist to your left. Twisting chair to the left. Set your foundation. I know you can sit a little lower. Breathe in, can you gaze over your top elbow? Stay here or take your fullest expression. If you want to open your arms, breathe in, empty out, last breath in, come back to center. Our intention was to stay. Let's stay for three breaths. Breathe in, empty out. Fill up, empty out, last breath in, breathe in more, release. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Grab your peace side fingers around your big toes, ground down through your heels and drop your head towards the mat. Bring your hips over your heels and create space, bringing your chest, working to bring your chest 
towards your thighs, but bring a little softness to your joints. Flow like water, bring a softness, soften like air. We're building that fire, breathe in, empty out, last breath in, slide your palms under your hands for gorilla pose. Bring a little softness to your elbows, creating space, reversing that blood flow. Breathe in, empty out, last breath in, fill up, release right away, crow pose. If you have crow, take crow. and set your gaze to the front of your mat. Fill the space with breath. Lift your heels further towards your, your butt. Breathe in, stay. You got one more in you, I know. Breathe in, jump back to Chaturanga. Stay. Upward facing dog, gaze high, beautifully done. Downward facing dog. Take three resting breaths. Breathe in, empty out, fill up, empty. On your last breath in, fill up, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward, extended mountain pose, gaze high, expand your chest and upper back, right side eagle pose. Right arm under your left arm. Right leg over your left leg. Everything here is in your foundation. Press down through your heel. Pull your elbow, or lift your elbows to shoulder height and pull your shoulders straight back. Pull your jawbone back to your neck and gaze through your forearms. Can you sit a little lower? Yet a little lower. Pull your belly to your spine. Breathe in. Switch sides. Left side eagle pose. Left foot over right, left leg over right leg, left arm under your right arm. Lift your elbows, gaze, through your forearms and pull your elbows away from your chest, but pull your shoulders straight back. Beautiful. Sit lower. Breathe in. Empty out. Last breath in. Release. Right side eagle. Breathe in. Empty out. Last breath in, switch sides. Left side eagle. Can you stay equanimity, that stira sukha, the balance between steadiness and ease. Breathe in, empty out. Last breath in, release. Right side standing leg raise. Right hand to your right knee. If you have yogi toe lock, extend your foot to the front of the room, grabbing your big toe, and open up your right leg to the right side of your mat. Extend your left arm towards the left side of the mat and let your gaze follow. Open up, create space. Root down through your standing leg. Pull your leg muscles to the bone. Pull in to lift up, to fully express out. Bring your leg back to center. Extend your leg to the front of the room. Press firmly through your heels and lift for five, 
four, three, two, one. Airplane pose. Extend your right leg to the back of the room, pressing down firmly through the palms of your hands, palms facing down. Expand your chest and upper back and up dog your chest. Gaze high, root down through your standing leg, breathe in, empty out, last breath in, half moon. Bring your left arm to the mat or a block, extend your right arm towards the sky, press, beautiful, through your back heel, spread your ten toes. Pick one spot on your mat and steady your gaze. Open up. On your in-breath, ex extend your crown of your head towards the front of the room and on your out-breath, slightly shift those micro shifts to open up your chest. Release. Extended mountain pose. Reach high, fill up, Samasitihi, equal standing pose. Left side, standing leg raise. Grab your left hand to your left knee. Stay here for one breath. Open up. Extend your right arm to the right side of the room, grounding down to lift up, pull your leg muscles to the bone. Breathe in, come back to center. Extend your left foot to the front of the room, pressing through your heel. Breathe in, on your out breath, come into airplane pose. Root down through your standing leg, press back through your heel, press through the palms of your hands to lift your chest, up dog your chest, breathe in, empty out, breathe in, half moon. Bring your right hand to the mat or to a block, extend your left hand towards the ceiling, and can your gaze follow? Breathe in, breathe out, last breath in, release. High plank, lower down, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step or hop to the front of your mat, halfway lift. Bow forward, extended mountain pose. Breathe in, hands to heart center. Right side tree pose. Ground down through your standing foot. Bring your right, the sole of your right foot to either a block, the floor, or the inner edge of your thigh. Just avoid your knee. I like to think about what tree I can be. Like an oak tree some days or a weeping willow other days. Consider your foundation and what tree are you. Take your fullest expression. You can bring your arms towards the ceiling, towards the sky. You choose. Bring your hands to heart center. Switch sides. Left side tree pose. Create your foundation. Pull in to lift up and express out. Ground down like earth. 
breathe in, empty out, last breath in, release, extended mountain pose, bow forward, halfway lift, high plank, lower down, low plank, upward facing dog, gaze high, downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat, right side warrior one, the grounding series, ground down to lift up, open up to warrior two, gaze over your front fingertips, straighten your right leg, hinge forward at the hips, extending your front arm towards the front of the room, triangle pose, three points on the, on the ground, that's why we call it the grounding series, ground down to lift up and express out, breathe in, empty out, on your in breath let the crown of your head come to the front of the room and your out breath twist, rinse out, open up, beautiful, breathe in, can you create more space? Last breath in, hands to the mat, high plank, lower down, low plank, upward facing dog, gaze high, downward facing dog, gaze to the back of your mat, left side, warrior one, ground down to lift up, open up to warrior two, steady gaze, breathe in, empty out, last breath in, triangle pose, straighten your right left leg, extend to the front of the room, and find those three points, ground down, lift your ten toes, spread your ten toes, can you come a little higher onto your fingertips, extend your top arm, crown of your head towards the front of the room on your in breath and open up on your out breath. Last breath in, empty out, fill up, hands to the mat, high plank, lower down, low plank, upward facing dog, gaze high, downward facing dog. Come out to high plank. Lower down on your own count of five. All right, that was good. Nice, good job. We're just getting started here. How you feeling? Very good. Good, good. You got some tapas going on? Yes, ma'am. In this cold weather, your toes are cold? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> we're gonna get a little warmer because it's igniting. So, crown of your head, um, forehead to the mat or chin to the mat, extending your arms along your side body, press down to lift up, bring your collarbones off of the mat, press down through your pelvis to lift, open up, let your gaze follow, can you lift a little higher, on your in breath lift up, stay, because you can stay, little higher, lower down. Nice job. Let's do it again. Keep that tapas going. It's igniting. On your in-breath, come up together. Press down. Pull your leg muscles to the bone to lift up. Expand your chest. You can stay. One more breath in. Lower down. Ah. Floor bow. Grab the outer edge of your feet or your ankle, wherever you can access. Keep your gaze steady, forehead to the mat, and on your in-breath, press the sh the sh your shins to the back of the room. Breathe in, lift up, press the heels, your heels towards the ceiling. Open up your chest. Breathe in, stay, release. Let's go right up again, floor bow. Come up again, press to lift up, to express out. Breathe in, empty out, 
Last breath in. Press. Lower down. Ah, good job. Come right up into upward facing dog. Gaze high. Lift up. Tabletop. Swing your feet to the front of the room. Set up. Lower to your back and set up for bridge pose. Bring your feet at 12 o'clock. Extend your fingers to your heels so they gently graze your heels. Relax your shoulders. Gaze to the ceiling. Press down, lift your hips, and interlace your hands at your lower back, pulling your thoracic spine in. Lift your hips. Breathe in. Empty out. Can you lift your hips higher? Press down through your heels and your shoulders as if they're lifting you up. Create more space. Nice ujjayi breath. Breathe in. Lower down. You can stay here for a bridge or we know you're going to come up, Michael, for wheel. We're going to do six wheels just in case, you know, you're not warm enough. So set up for a wheel. This is if you're setting up for a bridge, but bring your hands to the outer edge of your um, ears. You're gonna on your you're gonna breathe in to lift up. Press up. Press down mm -hmm. through your foundation. Feet at 12 o'clock. Feet at 12 o'clock. Breathe in. Press your he your hips to the ceiling. Stay for five, four, three, two. One, tuck your chin to your chest, lower down. One breath in, lift up. Second set. For eight, seven, six, I know you showed up today. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, chin to your chest. Breathe in. You want it to get warm. On your in breath, lift up. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. I'm learning what it is like to be uncomfortable, so we're going to stay with that uncomfortable to create more space on your in-breath lift up for number four let's go four five four you got this three two one chin to your chest lower down that's four you got two to go i know you got it in you breathe in press down to lift up you got this let go of anything's not serving you for four, three, two, one. Lower down. How many was that? Five. Five. You got one more in you. Let's go all the way up. This is the power of the practice. Five, four. Can you stay when it's uncomfortable? Yes, your fullest expression. For three, breathe two, one, lower down. Ah, beautifully done. Supta Baddha Konasana. Press the soles of your feet together. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Breathe in. Empty out. Breathe in this fresh air. The power of your breath. 
dead bug. Grab the outer edge of your feet. Keep your ujjayi breath with you. This active pose. You can sway side to side. Soften. Breathe in. Empty out. Last breath in. Extend your feet to the ceiling. Let's get some core going. Some stability here. Bring the soles of your feet towards the ceiling and press firmly through your fingertips. Still bring some softness to your joints, a little micro bend to your knees, but pull your front ribs into center and press down through your hips. We are going to do, let's do, I don't know, let's say uh, 30 scissor legs. Ready? Lift your chest, lift your shoulders and switch legs for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, press through your heels, 23, 22, 21, keep them hovering, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, tapas, 11, 10, 9, 8, let's go slower, 7, 6, 5, 4, hug into center, 3, 2, 1, feet up to the ceiling, lower down 30%. Lower down another 30. Lower down to hover over the floor. Press through your heels. Stay. Steady your gaze. Breathe in. Empty out. Stay uncomfortable. Last breath in. Lift your legs to the ceiling. We're going to do one more set. Lower your leg 30 degrees. Another 30. Come to a hover over the ground. Press through your heels. Can you stay? Breathe in. Lift your legs to the ceiling. Let's do, you're staying in the work. Let's do 20 bicycles. Do not let your um, knees cross over. You want to bring your elbows to your knees for 20, 19, nice, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, you got this, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ah, good job, rock and roll, one time, one time, boat pose. Pull your front ribs into center. Expand your chest and upper back. Let your gaze follow. Press through your heels to stay because you can and you have. Straighten your spine. Expand through your chest. Breathe in. Stay. Release. Um, come, come into downward facing dog. Take one breath in, empty out. Um, let's go to opening for right side half pigeon. Right knee to right elbow. Keep your right foot and your left foot flexed. Yes. Extend to the ceiling. This is one of my favorite poses. You've done the work. You've made it through, open up here, release,
I was thinking uh, yesterday, like, I had done, like, I don't know, I think it was, like, 35 days. I don't know how many. It was it was a lot, though, and I was just like, yeah, we got this, and, and I think, like, I, like, I don't know, I, like, I had to begin again because I was like, get, I got to get out of here. Like, it was like this, I was so uncomfortable just staying, and... Yeah, I like like lost it a little bit, and I was like, "This is crazy. I'm not staying in this house anymore. What are we doing?" And then I realized, breathe in, empty out, switch sides, left side half pigeon, left foot to left thumb, flex your feet, and then I realized, wow. I'm getting really uncomfortable and I don't want to stay. So I had to begin again. But it was remarkable to me. Like, it was alright for a while, but it, when it got too uncomfortable, I wanted to run. So can you consider staying? Can we all consider staying? Breathe in. Empty out. Last breath in. Release. You'll see double pigeon. Create space here by flexing your feet. Use a block if necessary. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathe in and empty out. Spread your ten toes and relax with what is. Let go of any holding should feel that in your hips, those hip flexors. Last breath in. Empty out. Switch sides. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathe in. And on your out breath, bow forward. If you're, you sort of like lost your, you know, started thinking about something else, come back to your breath. Stay on your mat. This is your time. Breathe in. Empty out. We need our time, our space more than ever. Last breath in, release. Swing your legs to the front of the mat for single seated leg extension. Extend your right leg to the front of your mat, pressing the sole of your left foot into your thigh. Breathe in. Extend your arms to the ceiling. Let your gaze follow on your in-breath. Breathe in on your out-breath. Empty out. Flex your front foot. And bring... I find I can access so much more here if I bring a slight bend to my right leg. And on your in-breath, extend the crown of your head to the front of the room. And on your out-breath, bow forward. Switch sides. Left side, single leg extension. Breathe in, empty out. 
You're being so good to your body, to your mind. That's what I love about this practice. You access every, every part, physically, inquiry, asana, meditation. being up to something bigger than yourself. Breathe in. Empty out. Last breath in. Release. Extend both of your feet to the front of the mat. For seated single leg or, or um, forward fold. Breathe in, bow forward. Ah. Breathe in, create more space, soften. like air. Last breath in. Empty out. Rejuvenation. You can take headstand, handstand, waterfall. You choose. Choose what you need today. Every day is different. rejuvenation, renewal. Take what you need. Breathe in. Empty out. If you're in headstand, Come down to your mat, come into child's pose. If you're in waterfall or shoulder stand, remove the block, come into plow pose. Take two breaths here. If you're in plow pose, meet me in deaf man's pose. Take one more breath here. Breathe in. Empty out. And let's meet on our backs. Take Sukta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together. Take one breath in here. Extend your feet to the front of your mat, arms at your side for Shavasana. Steady your breath. You've done the work. Loving yourself will make it better. Are you feeling powerless? Having circumstance, have circumstances taking a turn you don't like? Do you feel there's nothing you can do to make today better? One power that's always available to you is the power to love yourself. Sometimes we feel powerless. We have circumstances in our lives we simply cannot change, no matter what we do to create something different, to move the situation along. We can't get another person to behave differently. We can't seem to change something at work. We can't do much maybe about a money situation 
or at least not at the moment. Nothing in life seems to be going our way. It's not that we're doing anything wrong. We aren't off our path or neglecting a particular lesson. The energy of that particular time in our lives is frustrating. There is no action we can take to change our circumstances. All we can do is surrender. Surrender to the circumstances, accepting what's happened, and staying in the moment. Perhaps being uncomfortable. During those times, there is one action that we can take that will help. We can love ourselves. When we can't do anything about the world around us, when we can't seem to do much about ourselves, we can always, always love ourselves. When all our other powers seem stripped away, we can practice the power of self-love. It's one power that no one can take away. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, wiggle your ten toes, wiggle your fingers, come back to that conscious breath, extend your arms over your head, roll over to your right side. Stay here for a moment. And I always think about this as waking up again for the first time today. Come up to a seated position at the front of your mat. Sitting up nice and tall, crown of your head extending to the, to the sky. Bring your hands to heart center, and together we'll close our practice with one powerful OM. Breathe in. Bring your thumbs to forehead center, and together we bow and say, Namaste. Namaste. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Great it's class. getting chilly.